Welcome to Crane Talk, powered by Link Belt Cranes, where we will focus on the people, places, and parts that truly make the difference. In this episode of Crane Talk, we travel to Austin, Texas, where construction is underway on an elevated HOV lane. The congested bridge project requires overnight lane closures on Interstate 35. We spoke with Project Superintendent Kevin Wood and Crane Operator DJ Jammer to learn why Link Belt's TCC 2500 telescopic crawler cranes have provided the best solution for this high-profile project. The project goal is we're constructing four elevated non-toll express lanes for the expansion and traffic flow of I-35. Our project, I believe, is nine and a half miles from uh, Texas 45 in Buda to Highway 71 here in Austin. We'll have a lane closure here shortly. It's gonna take, close off two of the lanes on the southbound 35, and then we'll bring the uh, transport trucks in just outside the barrier wall inside that lane closure. We'll stop short right here in the span. Cranes will get hooked up, centered up, and then the crew will take them up off the truck, set them up on the couch. We'll be uh, running simultaneously doing the exact same maneuvers. We'll reach out to the truck, we'll pick them up, we'll come over the end of the camp, and then we'll start booming them up to us. Um, interior beams are 108,000, and these are 122 feet long. The modified girders on the two outside ends are 148. Our longest span, I believe, is 237 foot with the steel girders, and we reached out to a 171 foot radius with that, and 141 was halfway. It's, it's got quite the capacity the reach, even over some of the taller spans, that longer main boom really gets out there and makes the job easier. I've never had a problem with the main. You know, if I ask for it, it's gonna give it to me. You know, especially on six part, there's no flinching, no nothing. The lights are wonderful. The four cameras, that's a big deal. I like to be able to see everything, especially if I'm moving quite a bit, I really like to see everything. Self-assembly is really nice on these cranes. Their biggest shine point has been flexibility and configuration, and the 223 foot of main boom has really shined as far as reaching out over the spans to put deck panels in place, because we can't get out in the highway, obviously, and set beside the spans. So the 2500s with that boom has, has been able to reach out to quite a bit past half weight on these longer spans. Obviously, these are larger machines. We have a harder time moving them around during the day because of the tight space on the job site. At night, we get lane closure. We can push the retaining wall out of the way and we'll move them around a lot easier. In these pads, I like that. You know, you can cut around real easy on a dime. Easy to set. There's only a few configurations you got to pick from. This crane here, will let you work in between values, and I love that about any crank. You know, to me, that's how they ought to be. They're still going old school like that. You still got all the bells and whistles, the safety, you know, all of that, but the machine itself is still real mechanical. And if you run wide open, the machine will run wide open for you. They're one of the fastest cranes on the industry. Just sheer operation, everything about a link belt just runs faster. Once you're comfortable with the way a link belt moves around, it's like it's meant to do it. You know, I'm happy with it. You know, it, it's uh, as far as comfort goes, reliability for the job that we're doing. I'm 100% happy with it. You know, I almost couldn't ask for anything better at this point for what I'm doing. Stay tuned for more stories on the next Crane Talk.